Hi, Mama Russell here. Today I'm going to show you how to make deviled eggs. It's that time of year again when we've colored Easter eggs or hard boiled eggs and we have all these extra Easter eggs laying around. And so I'm going to show you how to make deviled eggs. But the first thing you need to do is make sure you peel the eggs, which I know most of you know. But what I will give you a really big hint uh, to make it peel easier, add a little baking soda to the water when you are hard boiling them. So we will get started. So you're gonna start with your hard boiled eggs and you're going to cut them lengthwise down the center. And you're going to take the yolk and pop it into a bowl. And then clean out the center as best you can and then put it on a plate. And you're gonna do this until you have all of them cut and so what you're basically deviled eggs is taking the yolk and making it creamy and then putting it back into the egg white. Okay, and sometimes they don't always peel super easy so you get little divots in your egg, which is fine, that happens. No big deal. Okay. Oh, I forgot to clean the egg off or the, whoops, okay. And you'll notice there's a little gray tint to some of them. Some of them, it's just the way they cook. And then, last one. Okay, and I just hard boiled. Um, let's see, two, four, five eggs. My family's not a huge um, hard boiled egg, but because it's Easter, I always like to do that. So you're going to take your yolks, and you're going to take a fork, and you're just going to start mashing them. And you can use. You could probably get away with using an electric mixer as well. And you just take this, you could probably use a food processor as well. I have a really cool tool that I got from a friend, um, but most people don't have it, so that's why I'm not showing you, but it's a really cool tool that mixes all this and chops it at the same time. So with this, you can add lots of different things to it. Um, I'm not a huge mayonnaise person. However, a little mayonnaise added to this um, makes it a little creamier. I go more heavy on the mustard, and so you use just regular yellow mustard, but you could easily use Dijon, uh, stone ground. Um, I always like to add a little bit of hot, hot, hot mustard to it, but just a tiny bit, just to give it a little zing. But you can add lots of different things, and then I'm gonna add some celery salt, some garlic salt, okay, and then I'm just going to mix it together. And then you wait till you try to get it a little of good consistency. See, it's a little on the dry side, so I'm going to add a little bit more mustard, just because I'm not a huge mayo fan. Um, but I might have to add a little bit more mayonnaise. You want it a creamy texture. Nothing. Uh, you don't want it too dry. In fact, I'm going to add a little bit more mayonnaise. You really wanted a creamy texture. And then of course you're gonna want to taste it. Mm. Maybe a little bit more celery salt. And you could add red pepper flakes, you could add cayenne pepper, you could add chili lime, you could add lots of different spices to this that you want. Salt and pepper. Okay, and then um, I'm going to show you the easy way to do this, but you're just going to take a spoon, two spoons, and you're going to scoop and then scrape into the bowl, into the hole. You want to kind of fill it up because it's going to look nice. Okay, and you can pipe this in if you want, make it nice and pretty. Um, just for time, I'm not going to do that. I'm all about fast and easy snacks. This is also the way that you make egg salad. You just have to chop up the egg whites with it. Um, and then once you have this done, I'm not gonna show you all of them. I think you get the idea. You can take paprika and tap it on there if you'd like. 
a little pretty or put a little olive or whatever it is that you like to uh, put in there. So that was today's lesson on how to make deviled eggs. Uh, again, if you have lots of eggs left around after Easter, a uh, great way to use them or make an uh, egg salad sandwich which is made pretty much the same way. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure you like and comment below. Thanks for joining me today and have a great day.